Hello, I'm Sherry. Um, welcome to my podcast. Thank you for coming to spend time with me. Um, I live in the south southwest, down on the south coast of Devon, and um, yeah, well, it's been really quite mild actually. Um, a little bit of frost this morning, weather forecast. A little bit of frost this morning, but um, it's been so mild, so. I don't know if we're ever going to get a proper winter, but I'm quite happy with. I'm a bit. I'm one of these people. I love winter, and actually, a drizzly day, I'm fine with that. So, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and happy New Year. Hopefully, this year will be better for all of us. The signs are better, and I feel I don't have that sort of not fear, but that sort of hopelessness feeling that we had last year but it was just going to go on and on and I feel like things are going to get better um I hope so so yeah I hope you had a lovely Christmas that seems ages ago now and it went too quickly I think the approach to Christmas just whizzed by and I'm I'm not one for New Year's resolutions actually but I am I am determined that I'm going to slow things down organize myself better because one minute it was October literally and then it was Christmas and now we're mid-January nearly and I need to be more organised. Um, yeah, I've got some lovely gifts. Um, I'll show you a couple in a second actually. But I just thought I'd tell you what I've been doing, actually what I've been up to. I've still got a funny arm. Um, which means that knitting, anything that involves me sort of moving this part of my arm and crocheting is quite uncomfortable. Although I have got a cast on, I'm just about to do. Um, but I'm okay with stitching, so I've been doing quite a bit of stitching. So Nikki Franklin um, has featured in my Christmas and New Year makes actually quite a lot. So I got her, I didn't get her advent this year. I've got it for the previous two years. Always recommend that if you haven't had that before. I actually got the 12 days of Christmas, which I also really enjoyed. That's when you start opening on Christmas day and it's 12 little um, projects, mini projects, a couple of which I've got to show you here. Um, plus she sent me a lovely little oh, gift of things, which was incredible. So yes, it's been a very Nikki Franklin type of Christmas. So, um, the format of the video is going to be slightly different than that. I'm going to try and show you some footage while I'm talking so that it's easier for you to see it. Let me know what you think. But the first thing I did was little English paper piecing. Uh, this is supposed to be a needle book when you get it finished. So you fold it over and so what you got with the 12 days of Christmas was you got a little package of fabric and then which you use to make all of these projects plus some standalone embroideries. Um, yeah, and the first one was this um, needle book. Was it the first one? I think it was. And there's some linen. There's everything you need to make, the, to make the book, which I'm probably going to make into a needle book. So the idea is that you line it and then it's going to be that size. But I'm also very tempted to put that on a cushion, neaten up all of these edges that have got a bit um, messy and I might put that onto a plain cushion because I want to make some there's lots I want to do 101 things and I'm determined this year that I'm actually going to find time to do that so that may go on a cushion and also I was going to show you this in a minute but the red actually when I laid this down earlier they just go so beautifully I've got a thing for these colors um, This is going to be, this is our skein of our ruby yarn, which I snagged before Christmas. If you had our advent, thank you for your messages for the advent. We're absolutely thrilled that you love the advent, both advents. Um, and the story, I'm glad you loved it all. We were, all, we were quite nervous when you start, started opening it. Um, day one of the advent was you got a copy of the foxglove cottage mitts which was a pattern from Kay 
Bryony Bears, the bakery bears. And um, last year she said, yeah, she would do a pattern for us that would, was going to be released on December the 1st to tie in with our advent. So our advent was foxglove wood and foxglove wood is attached to, is, is right next to foxglove cottage. So she did, she did beautiful mitts. If you didn't get one in your advent, I heartily recommend this pattern. She's a genius anyway, okay, absolute genius with patterns. They're always so well written, so clear. And for me, that's half the thing. If I've got a pattern that I know I'm going to be able to tackle, no problem at all. So that is going to be mitts. And the reason for that, apart from my fascination with reds, is because oh, a couple of years ago now, I made a cowl. Um, I think it's a snuggle down cowl. This is from my friend Jaws pattern, um, So Sweet Violet. And I held a skein of yarn with some mohair for that one, but I actually thought that is close enough to be a nice match. And to be honest, I know some of you are thinking, you're already thinking of spring and summer knits, but actually I wear mitts a lot. So that's my cast on planned with the red theme. Now, the other Nikki Franklin thing that I did was a daisy embroidery, which again, I'll show you better on a close up. But the daisy embroidery was, um, I don't know, what did she intend that to be? Just trying to think actually. I can't remember now whether you just, whether it's going to be something or whether it just came as a, something to frame. But anyway, that was lovely. I really enjoyed stitching doing that. And I watched Vienna Blood. Did anyone see Vienna Blood? I loved that. And I stitched that while I was watching Vienna Blood over Christmas, which was a um, a drama, a sort of whodunit set in um, in Vienna. And it's really good. It's got it's a little bit of humour to it as well, which I loved. Um, also watched Kenneth Branagh, Murder on the Orient Express. I've watched so much television over the last few weeks, more than I've watched probably for flipping months, I think, but loved it. So yeah, that's that little embroidery, which I have loved, which I am probably, I'm, oh, and that's it. Yes, she said that you could embroider something in there. I think I will, I think I'll embroider something in there. I'm not quite sure what yet. And then that will probably go on my wall. It might be a cushion, I don't know. So that's the Nikki, I mean, Nikki Franklin has featured far more in my Christmas, but they're the couple of things that I thought I would show you. Um, Yeah, that's that. Now, the other thing I've been doing, sorry, I'm faffing, fiddling with my hair and there's a good cut long and in my face, which I'm keeping in my um, little Liberty sewing bag box, which I love, is I've shown you this before. This is my uh, little We Are Family quilt. And um, I have done I did quite a few squares actually over Christmas and the next part of it, I think there are four of the circle um, pieces and then you go on to something else. I'm just about to move on to something else, but I've been loving that. And I've got a thing for um, applique, applique, however you want to say it. I've got a thing for that at the moment and the slow stitching that I'm doing, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Um, often slow stitching is raw edges and all things like that. Mine's all neatly turned under at the moment because I'm, I'm just loving applique. I just find it really soothing to sit and just turn the edges over and stitch. I love it. And that's something else I've determined. That I'm going to find time to do that every day, which I have been doing. So... That's that. Now, the other thing that I am doing, that I am doing, I have, this was briefly up in my kitchen and I've taken it down, taken it apart. And this is a, so I made this originally as a pelmet for the kitchen, 
which is lots of um, just patchwork squares and some vintage embroidery. But what I'm going to do is embellish the uh, cream sections. So I've just put a little bit of Liberty, Liberty flower on that one. I'm going to put, I don't know if I'm going to put those hearts there actually, I'm not sure about the colour, the fabric. And I've put some, oh, I'm stitching on a little bit of lace there. And that, I'm going to line that. Um, yeah, I'm going to, so I'm going to put some more things on there, I don't know what, maybe some even little tiny quotes. And then that's going above my bed. So I've got some dowling that's going to sort of go through on the top. So that's my next thing, it's a bit wonky there. So I'm just going to back it with some, um, maybe some old sheeting or something like that, actually, because you're not going to see it. Um, that's happening. I've got a bit of a thing for fab my fabrics at the moment. I'm trying to find the best way of organising them. They're just everywhere. You know where you've got pieces of, um, who was it? Kate, the last home homely house, where you've got your bigger pieces of fabric that you put aside that you might be able to make something out of. And then you've got your smaller pieces of fabric that you're keeping. And then you've got your even smaller pieces of fabric. And I was so pleased to see that she had the really tiny pieces of fabric because she just couldn't throw it away. It's Liberty. I'm the same. Um, but I'm trying to organise it a bit better because it's just everywhere. First of all, I thought I'd colour coordinate it, but I've just got so many bags now. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is a little bit, this I picked up ages ago and found it and I've been doing this, which is just um, using, so we're hoping to be dyeing some embroidery threads this year and this is using this uh, undyed, just for fun really, just I like doing single colour embroideries on linen. Something on this reminded me of the Instagram account Embroidery Therapy. And what was it on there that she did? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's an amazing account if you love embroidery. Um, she makes the most beautiful things and she did some, I think I've mentioned it before, she did some, oh, a quote. That was it, I said I was gonna do a quote. And she did a quote round the neckline of her dress, which I'm going to start soon so that that dress is ready. It's just one of my linen dresses upstairs that I'm going to do that too. Uh, inspired by her, really, because she's, so creative, I think she's amazing. So the only other thing I wanted to show you, I'll quickly talk to you about my slow stitching quickly in a second. I'm trying not to make this too long. I'm just gonna briefly show you some colors that are going into the shop. Um, and then, yeah, and then I should talk about slow stitching. So I got a book for Christmas. So I've been a member of the Butterfly and Moth um, sort of conservation for quite some time. And um, my eldest son surprised me with this book at Christmas, which I was not expecting. It was a complete surprise. And I'll, um, I think you could probably see it in the video, so I won't try and show it to you on because it's so heavy, it's a big, it's a tome. But um, that fitted in, it was a surprise gift, but it fitted in so perfectly because Christopher and I, um, Christopher is my son that I, work with we work together and we decided that we wanted butterflies to be the focus for this year so that was just serendipity really so our first colorway that we've done which is Laertes which was inspired by this one this one here Laertes I always say it wrong oh sorry about that um, anyway, that inspired this mini set, which went on sale last week because it was a very lazy start to the year. And this is the main skein, which is going to go into the shop this Friday. And that's um, blues, greys and touches of caramelly brown, I would describe that. And the idea is that each, that's a new label that Christopher's, uh, designed for the yarn and that's our new logo this will actually probably go out with this label the next batch that go out but we've decided what we'd like to do this year is um, I'm not going to say it's a monthly um, colorway because 
it could be that there'll be more because there are so many beautiful butterflies to choose from. But we felt that was tonally quite nice for January. But we will be le releasing hopefully at least one a month. Um, minis, if you would like to make a butterfly blanket or something like that. Um, or butterfly socks. Socks. Anyway, that's Laertes. Now, the other thing is snowdrops. I haven't seen any snowdrops yet, but they are, being, they are popping up on Instagram feeds. So this is our snowdrops colourway. Very slightly tweaked from last year. So if you have, um, if you think it looks very slightly different to last year's, it's because we've tweaked a little bit because this is copper filled in the snowdrops. So it's, no, it's not. This is copper filled in the snowdrops. This is snowdrops. This is copper filled in the snowdrops. So, and this is copper filled, copper filled in winter. So copper filled, is uh, the rabbit that is kind of the the main character, really, in um, Foxglove Wood. And he's a little rabbit and he lives in Dickens Burrow. And his mum, Bessie, is a big fan of Charles Dickens. So she has Copperfield and Estella and Amy, her other two little children. And this is Copperfield in winter which is greys and browns. And then this is copper filled in the snow in snowdrops. So we've got the greys and browns with the snowdrops. And then this is snowdrops. Oh, that's lovely. I'm addicted to raspberry tea at the moment. Raspberry tea and then have a nighttime, um, nighttime tea. I don't know if it makes any difference at all, but I, it, it makes me feel like I sleep better, so that's good enough for me. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the slow stitch. Now, embarrassingly, I talked about this last September, I think it was, and said, I'm going to do this slow stitching, and I just literally didn't have time. I did not have any time from, yeah, early September, really, through to Christmas. So. I'm really sorry if I said I was going to do that and you thought well, that sounds like a lovely idea. Anyway, I'm actually going to do it this time. Uh, so I'm doing a little um, stitch along. So I'm going to be doing a monthly. So here's the thing. I'm going to be doing a monthly um, piece of art, really, by which I mean a composition of fabrics and stitches. Nothing fancy, no... Um, complicated embroidery or anything like that, just stitches and fabric. The original thing I wanted to do was to make it into a a book. But then I thought, do I want a book or would it be really nice to have the art on the wall? Because I've got quite a, a big staircase and I thought it would be really nice to have the art on the wall going up the wall. And then I thought it'd be quite nice on a cushion or it could even make a quilt. So I don't know what actually yet I'm going to do with all of these pieces. All I know is that I'm going to be creating some pieces of art each month. Um, and then I think it will become obvious when they're done what, what, what I want to use them for or what you might want to use them for. So if you would like to join in, that would be lovely. Now, what am I waffling on about? Because indeed I am waffling. When I started this last September, and I did some of this on my holiday, um, and they're spectacularly run out of time. But this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about when I'm talking about a piece of art. I mean, that's very upside down, um, free. But it's, you're basically, and I think I'll probably do it slightly bigger than this. But effectively, I used a piece of calico and then I stitched onto it. I actually think for some of the things that I'm going to do, I might put some batting on the back and stitch into that too because I like the texture that it gives but I'll talk about that as I go through uh, but to create things like this and effectively slow stitching is it's well I would describe it as just as making marks on fabric with stitch that could be embroidery I think it could be um, just using stitches 
to lay fabrics on, it could be anything. So if you would like to join in, that would be lovely. So there's that kind of thing. I keep this, oh look, that's a little bag my friend Carrie made me, which goes everywhere with me. I keep these in these little suitcases that you get. And the other one that I've got oh, is, oh, so yeah, this, I forgot this was in here. So I still haven't done anything with this yet, but this is another sort of example of what I'm talking about. Now that was going to be a book cover. And it might still be a book cover, I don't know. I don't know. But then that's the thing, I don't, I don't start them with what they're going to be in mind really. Well, I probably should. And I did have that in mind to be a book cover, but as it's gone on, I thought, I don't know if that is going to be a book cover. It might be. I don't know. But that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. So again, lots and lots of bits of fabric and there's some Suffolk puffs in there. And so just circles of fabric that I like. A um, little pocket. So I thought it was up the right way. Little, it doesn't matter if there's a right way or wrong way really, but little pocket there. And I, I make these up of some of my favourite fabrics. So that's one of my most favourite pieces of vintage fabric ever. I don't know what it's called. Um, I picked up about a metre of it, metre and a half. I just love it. And that's the last little bit really. So that's gone on. And there's lots of tiny little seed stitches on here. And favourite blouses, obviously polka dot, because that's the law. And all sorts of little bits, gingham. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. And what I thought I would do is I'm going to incorporate the butterflies into it. And then I'm just going to, just as a, the memory really of, of, what, of what I did, of, of, the, of the butterfly yarns, and I'm going to learn as much as I can about butterflies and pass that on. So there's going to be a butterfly just in each one, uh, but each month I'm going to choose a colour palette. There is going to be a separate little video on this uh, if you're one of our uh, patrons as well. But there'll also be some on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to choose a colour palette and for January I think that's going to be what well, it is. I'll put it over there. It's greens and greys on a neutral background because again it's a snowdrops kind of inspiration. Um, and there's going to be a little butterfly on there as well. And I should make it up very much as I go along. But if you would like to make it up as you go along, uh, this is a, this little book I got, little little book, big book, slow stitch, which I haven't even um, even the cover is gorgeous. Um, Claire Wellesley Smith, I haven't even had the time properly to read through it. I'm still walking around with my little. Um, Do you do that? If I get things for Christmas, if I get some, particularly if I get crafty things, I'll have them all together and they'll be in a basket. And if I'm downstairs, they're downstairs with me. And if I go upstairs to bed or something, they're, they're with me then. Um, so this is still following me around everywhere, but I haven't had time to properly delve into that. Uh, but I'm going to be using that as inspiration and mainly um, nature, to be honest, which is always our inspiration, but also um, Mary Thomas Dictionary of Embroidery Stitches. I'm going to be using some of these beautiful stitches that she talks about in here. So not a sampler, but there'll be some stitches that are that I don't know. This book is falling apart. I need to do a repair job on it. It was like that when I got it. Um, I need to. It's got a beautiful cover. Well, I think it's beautiful. I'll show you. I'm not sure what to do about that dust jacket. I don't know whether to just, um, whether to put that, that's what it's like, whether to put that on a piece of paper and glue it to give it stability or what to do. I don't know really, but anyway, that's the color. I think that's lovely. Anyway, um, that's enough for me really. I've been chatting on. So thank you if you're still watching 
and let me know if you would like to join in. Um, there are going to be weekly videos on Patreon, but if you're interested in joining in, I'll put some um, here as well on my Froggy Pod, which may not stay as Froggy Pod. I might change the name of it. I don't know. It's going to be one of those years. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you next week.